I know during WWE TLC, we had discussions on Twitter, some of us, and some of you agreed with me and some of you did not when it came down to the Asuka versus Emma match. And my simple thoughts were that there was no reason that match should have went that long. There was no reason in the world why your so-called next big thing of the women's division is working a 50-50 competitive match bordering on the other person actually dominating and shining more, especially knowing that other person was Emma, who's never held a WWE women's title and for all intents and purposes was a jobber in that company. Now, for those of you that disagreed, you were wrong, of course, but the reason you disagreed was because you thought Emma was a really good in-ring talent and she most certainly could not be a jobber, which is just completely and totally ridiculous. We can all have wrestlers that we like, that we think are talented, but ultimately a jobber is like a jobber is. If they job like a jobber, they're presented like a jobber, and they job some more like a jobber, then guess what, ding-dongs? They're freaking jobbers. And Emma, for an extended period of time, for that company, was a jobber, period. And having a jobber work a 50-50 competitive match with several stretches where they looked stronger and more dominant over your next big thing, Asuka, was completely and totally ridiculous. Period. Especially when you go back on Raw the next night and you basically do the same crap again. That's not the way you spotlight your next big thing. And the dumb logic being thrown out there about, well, this elevates both of them and it's going to sh showcase Emma more and it's going to lead in bigger, better things. What the fuck are y'all talking about? There's no way this company was ever going to really get behind her or truly give her another chance or do anything other than go out of their way to bury her and continue to make her look stupid because they're still pissed at her after months of, literally months of doing those Emmalina vignettes. She didn't want to do it. She threw a fit and she didn't do it. And you know what? In that case, I can't blame the WWE. Here was an opportunity for her to do something different. Here was an opportunity for her to shine in something outside of being a wrestler because news flash, ding dong, dumb dicks, not everybody needs to wrestle to get over. And sometimes it's the best thing they could do is not wrestle and get over. I use Elias as a perfect example. The more he wrestles, the less he'll be over. The less he wrestles and the more other stuff you do with him, the more he'll be over. If Elias just came in like so many other wrestlers and he just worked match after match after match after match, that's it. Then he's just another freaking jabroni, period. But he's not, and the reasons he's not is because he is different. He's presented different. He is featured differently. And Emma had that chance, and she didn't want to go there because she thought she had these ideas. And frankly, newsflash to some of you, she's not as good as you thought she was. That's just the way it is, period. But ultimately... Knowing that this company's never really truly pushed her, never really gotten her, never really gotten behind her, you held on to this silly belief that she wasn't a jobber. She was a jobber. This is again equivalent to having Kurt Hawkins wrestle a 50-50 competitive match against Roman Reigns, or Brock Lesnar, or Braun Strowman. You just don't do that. And the reason you don't, if I have to explain the reason why you just don't do that, then, then I don't even know why we're having the conversation. But for those of you that argued with me on Twitter and tried to go back and forth about how this was a big platform for Emma, or this was going to help elevate her, and it helped elevate both women, ding dong, you're wrong, I was right yet again, hashtag Schlag Daddy was right, eat shit. Because as we found out this past weekend, Emma was released by the WWE. Whether that became of her request, whether that came of their request, I just think the whole concept of her working competitive matches against Asuka was entirely stupid even before you throw this in if you're the WWE and this was totally of your own volition of your own doing and your own initiative to release some people you're discussing this and talking about this for weeks thinking about who you can cut who would make sense to move who would cause the least damage if you let them go so you already had to know that you were going to get rid of this girl you had to have an idea that she might not be there long term. 
And what has she provided to the company? What has she brought to the company? What has she done for the company that will give you any type of indication that it is a good idea to give her some shine and spotlight on the way the hell out because you're sending her on the way the hell out? That's just dumb. Asuka should be squashing her ass because it should be about Asuka. It should not be about Emma. And this is part of the problem why nobody gets over in that damn company is because of this 50-50 booking crap. Now, we could ultimately say, does it really matter? And honestly, that is a great discussion that we shall have in a different video about whether or not booking truly matters or whether the 50-50 crap really matters or if anything freaking matters anymore. But within the parameters and context of this particular video, when you factored in that Emma was a jobber, she's never been a champion, she is a jobber to the stars, as some people would say, but that still makes her a freaking jobber. And this company was not behind her, is not behind her, was not going to be behind her in the future, even if they weren't going to release her, even though they ultimately did, so it makes your argument look even worse. The fact that she would be working competitive 50-50 matches against your next big thing is just dumb. And especially when you look at the whole picture now, and you see that Emma has been released, that was some type of spotlight. They were shining the spotlight on her as they sent her happy ass packing on to Walmart so she can steal some more crap. Why did I do this video? Because I'm a bit of a dick sometimes. And when I hear stupid arguments presented and stupid delusions hung onto and clung onto, I love nothing more than to come on here and rub it in some of your faces, frankly. Because we know when the shoe's on the different foot, y'all are gonna do it to me. We try to keep each other honest. Now I'm keeping y'all honest here. It was dumb before, and your arguments are invalid, and they look even more ridiculous now. You brought Asuka down. You didn't elevate Emma. That was the exact opposite of what you were trying to accomplish, which is so often what happens in WWE now because of the 50-50 booking. But ultimately, does it really matter with Asuka? Is she really going to be that type of big deal? Or was she one, another one of these overhyped NXT talents that doesn't really fit the same, doesn't really work the same on the main roster. And that, I think, is an important topic and an important discussion we will also have at another time because I will tell you right now, I agree with Edge. I don't get the hype. But, for the moment at hand, hashtag Schleg Daddy was right. I told you it was stupid for Emma to be working competitive matches with Asuka. So eat it.